Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Rio Tinto is out on the 6th of December with their investor update, which realistically is going to put through everything for 2024. It's been an interesting year for Rio that's still coming through some of the tail issues that came out of 2020 and 2021 with the disaster at Gorge and Gorge. Then you've also got the idea that at the moment they're starting just to see things flatline a little bit. So expectations for something like iron ore, we already know that. The expectation is for the Pilbara at 335 megatons, which was basically bang in line what they did last year as well. But the ones we're gonna get are things like aluminium, you're gonna get copper as well, you're gonna get unit costs that we expect to see in the ranges that are slightly better than forecasted, and that's what I wanna talk about. So having a look, expectation is that aluminium will be the same as 2023. Guidance will be somewhere between 3.3 million tons to 3.34. Copper on the mine side should something be around sort of 787 kilotons. Now that is well up from the 629 they did this year. That will be a boost, there's no doubt about that. We know that Oatogo is coming on in leaps and bounds and that copper is the future of what Rio sees its operation. So watch that one, they will really champion how their copper division is going. Then you look at unit costs. The expectation is for about 21.7, maybe as bad as 21.8 you know, US dollars per tonne. And that's using an idea of an Aussie to US dollar exchange rate of 69 cents. To put that into consideration, last year, it was roughly around about the same price, but with the Aussie to US being about 70. So take that as you will. In fact, at the top end of the range, it actually was 22 and a half US dollars a tonne on that back. So that is, again, slightly better than what was happening this year. We'll see if they can get that in line with it. Then the next one to have a look at is Samandu is the next thing and the next thing we need to talk about. The expectation is between 8.7, 8.9, 8.8 billion for the period is forecasted. Guidance from the company was sort of six, sort of 9.1 to $10 billion in terms of what you saw for the project as its whole. Samandu is the one that at the moment is the big unknown. It's a lot of questions being asked about where it's going, who's it's driving it, and whether or not Rio can actually get it into order. Because if it can, there will be some real excitement about where it's going. But Rio has just been that little bit of a lagger in 2023 compared to its peers, and it should and will probably get itself in order very soon. The question is, is it this year or is it the year after that we have to now wait for? We'll wait and see what they tell us on the 6th of December.